Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for October 26, 2021, the Facebook Employees Edition. And we begin with that story from Reuters. Facebook employees had warned for years as the company raced to become a global service that it was failing to police abusive content in countries where speech was most likely to cause harm. According to interviews, with former employees and internal company documents reviewed by Reuters. Efforts to prevent its products from becoming conduits for hate speech, inflammatory rhetoric, and misinformation uh, did not keep pace with its global uh, expansion. And uh, Facebook has shown it does not hire enough workers with language skills and knowledge with local events to identify objectionable posts. The documents also showed that the AI systems Facebook used to root out such content, we're not up to the task. So uh, more bad news from Facebook as Facebook employees speak out. Uh, along the lines of another Facebook story is Francis Hagen, or Hagen, the former Facebook manager, uh, delivered testimony to the British Parliament today in a campaign to build stronger oversight of the company. She said that uh, her actions created a backlash and public relations crisis that stand apart for, for the country. She took her show on the road uh, to be in front of British lawmakers, and she, um, hours before she began speaking in London, more than a dozen new news organizations published articles based on the Facebook papers, a cache of documents she took before resigning. So the Facebook Papers is yet one more uh, HR uh, disaster for the company, and at some point it's going to have to realize uh, it's going to have to come clean if it wants to rebuild trust. Next up from Bloomberg, Citigroup became the first Wall Street bank to agree to take a deep dive into its business to see if and how it creates to racial discrimination. The audit will be conducted by attorneys from Covington and Burling. The bank audit will focus on its 2020 commitment to dedicate $1 billion towards initiatives that hope would close the persistent racial wealth gap in the United States. Citigroup's plans follows a similar move by BlackRock earlier this year. And finally, Varsity Blues continues as Georgetown's former tennis coach played guilty, uh, having received more than $3.4 million in bribes to uh, bring um, students in who were not otherwise qualified and bring them in through the university's tennis program. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.